Hey, how's it going? Yeah, today I want to talk about how you can immerse yourself in English, so that you don't really need to learn it. You immerse, and、um, because it will become your part of your life, so you don't really really need to spend a lot of time study that. Okay, so before that, if you haven't subscribed and you want to receive more videos. Of、uh, learning English like this, please subscribe and hit the bell button. Okay, so how to really immerse yourself? How to really make English your part of your life that you couldn't live without without it? I would suggest you to really see English as a, a tool, as a tool to to help you understand this world better, to help you. Uh, keep in touch with a very, very big,、uh, a lot of uh, uh, things that hap- is happening. That's that 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 that's the the benefit that you can get if you see English as your lifestyle, as your part of your life. For example, if you want to read、uh, or watch a lot of news, or you're already doing that in your mother tongue, you can you actually switch that kind of channels. To English, you watch English news, you read English news newspapers.、Um, they just uh, uh, allow you to know more things that happen in in the world,、uh, because English、uh, is really the most uh, uh, international languages at this at the moment. So you will be able to really really understand this world better. So. That that's really good for you, right? Then, at the same time, you learn English, and because reading in English doesn't really affect the, the your purpose of、uh, reading news. The purpose purpose of reading new reading news is like to 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 learn more things about the world, and、uh, no matter what kind of languages they 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 you you used to read, read newspapers. It's basically it give you the the some certain amount of information, and not to mention English, probably can give you a broader coverage of the world. So that's、uh, one suggestion for for the news. You can read new English newspaper. You can watch English news,、uh, news channels, that kind of stuff. And I give another example. Maybe you like to read books, and、uh, you read a lot of novels. And there are a lot of novels actually originally、uh, are written in, in English. For example, in Japan, many English novels are translated in Japanese. So a lot of people read English novels in Japanese. So that that's definitely a lot of people doing that because、uh, they read faster in Japanese. So there's a reason they need to read in Japanese. But if you can, you know, take some risk, or it's not like really a risk. You just、uh, if you are willing to read slower, so you can read in in English. And maybe at first you only can read as twenty percent of your full, your speed reading in your mother tongue. But over a couple of months, you probably can speed up your speed to maybe forty percent, fifty percent. And over a year, your speed will almost catch up to your.、Uh, Native language reading speed, maybe the eighty percent, seventy percent, things like that. And as so long as you reach this mark, you can really, really observe、uh, any knowledge in English without like making too much effort. And、uh, it's actually very, very good for you because at the same time you learn, you actually learning a language when、uh, enjoying yourself, entertaining yourself. Uh, learning, uh, reading a novel, that's really really good. So like any kind of books you read in, in English, you you basically your main purpose is now really I、uh, like learn English, practice your English. But your main purpose is to to do whatever you originally、uh, need to do. Basically, is to to read novel entertainment for entertainment, to read some news, to, to read some maybe textbook, to get more knowledge. But uh, uh, implicitly, you're also learning English because you are reading. You're reading it, right? 
that's actually really good. At first, maybe very hard to do because you only read like twenty percent speed of your 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 mother tongue. And I know it's painful, but over a couple of months, you will overcome it. You just see it. It's actually an investment. You just do it first, and、uh, after suffering for few months, you when you overcome this, everything we just paid off. We just pay off. That's really worthy. I, I, I'm I'm telling you, that's really worthy. Um, you just need to you know hang in there, get through the the, the beginning period of this, like transition. There will be painful. There will be some pain, but the the reward, the potential reward that you can get is tremendous. It's re- definitely worth try trying. So that's、uh, what I'm saying today.、Mm. Try to see English as a tool to broaden your knowledge to help you see the world better. Instead,、uh, seeing it as a study subject, that's not 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 the the way you should learn it. You should you should learn it as a just a a tool, and、uh, by doing this, you will really like to use English because.、Uh, Using English is just uh, uh, to beneficial to for you because you can know so much thing and、uh, at the same time you you basically learning it. Okay, so that's all for today. And、um, if you have any thoughts, leave in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe. And other than that, other than that, I'll see you next time.